What's up, YouTube? We're finally doing it. It's the toolbox tour. My 44 inch, JK, it's really a 42 inch Harbor Freight US General Series Tool Toolbox. You know what I'm saying? It's the 10 drawer. All right, we're going to get on to it. I want to show you what's, what I got in the sides here. On the side, I keep a, it's just like a body hammer that I got, a claw hammer. And that's a, I believe that's a bronze hammer. And this is a copper hammer, I believe that is. Then right here is a K Tool International Main Taiwan slide hammer set. The one and only. Now this is the only company that makes this set. You cannot find it at all. And whew. It's expensive. I'm, I'm not even going to talk about how, how expensive it was. That's an inside joke. And moving on to this. This is my big axle nut socket set. Which are some pretty badass chromoly impact sockets. So yeah, I got these for a killer deal also from a website they call XS Tools. I don't think they're around really, but they are a seller on Amazon right now, and they do have some deals. They do sell monster tools. They they have some monster tools. And then on the side, I got some like copper gasket sealer sealing, some exhaust sealing, a square, a bearded yakin magnet. It's the bearded yakin. You know what I mean. And then I got magnets. Super Lube, New York, New York Yankees, you know, magnifying glass, and this is some some more gray Ultra Seal stuff. And then on top here, I got this knockoff clone snap-on light, and then I got a real snap-on light next to it. This is the non-USB one. This was a hookup from... A commenter in the live streams, everybody's favorite live stream guy, Tarek. I ain't gonna try and say his last name, so you all know it. Uh, up here, I got a, I believe this is a USA made Stanley hacksaw with a Starrett blade, uh, Harbor Freight grease pump there. I use that, I'll put like a one of those uh, wire brush wheels in it. And I will use, that's what I use that drill for. Just just crazy stuff like that. Got some wire loom stuff. This funnel kit is a must own. Several brands make it. Got this one off of Amazon for about $21 or so. I don't even remember how I got this. How did I get this? Did Will send this to me? I think Will might have sent this to me. I appreciate that, Will. I believe you sent that to me. And then, right here, oh, J Will from JK Canvas. That's who that's from. I believe that's what he sent me. I got this super long screwdriver. I got these uh, Philo screwdrivers. I believe they're Philo. Yeah, Philo. I got these from Tools and Trash from a live stream giveaway. USA made hyper tough Walmart pry bars. I found this SK pry bar in the road before uh, I even was in the tools and collected tools. And I've had it for a few years now. Some Dasco cold chisels that I got in a wheel and deal from a YouTuber. Got a this pry or yeah, breaker bar is from Tarek also. You hooked it up. He also hooked it up with that five drawer card over there. Ain't that a swell guy of him? Tarek is a sweet guy. He is a kind man. Yeah. May not sound like it from some of his text messages, but really he is a kind guy. <laughs> He's a goofy guy. And this is my snap-on toolbox. I just use it for storage. There's, I don't think there's any tools in there. And if there is, there. Big whoop. Harbor Freight grinder. And then I got one of the 
Scout Crafter, he did a video on one of these. This is the True Monts. Yeah, the Trimos. Not the Chimos, but the Trimos. The Trimonts. Wrenches, and then got some more Dasco, and got some other USA stuff in there. And an SK Speed Bar that I've been meaning to send to Hard Rocks Forge forever, but it's just the one item, and it's a weird shaped thing, so I've been waiting, waiting to find a good excuse to send it. The new Daytona, right there. That's the long reach. Check out my video on it. I used that underhood light by you know who. So I'm gonna get into it. We'll open up the toolbox and we'll check it out. All right, so here's my top drawer. And we're gonna start over here on the left side. So over here at the top left, let me get positioned in. Is that Milwaukee? I got the 3 8 ratchet right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I got the, the drill right here, the fuel drill with the 2.0 red lithium battery. Then I got the 3 8 fuel stubby right here with a 4.0. And then I got the, the fuel quarter inch impact driver with a 4.0. Got a gear wrench, trim clip, tool remover, AMF Harley Davidson lock to the Harley, Harley Davidson keys. That's a 73 Sportster, Ironhead 1700. Right here, those are. These are my main go-to pliers right here. These are top, they're Japanese, stainless steel. They're very nice. They got lots of gripping power. They're excellent for all sorts of stuff, especially in electrical and wires. And round things, slippery things, even slippery things, this thing's good on holding on to. And these are the Fujias that I have. Tony the Technician, he just did a video about these Fujias. They're a sweet little plier. I use them a lot, as you can tell. They do get some use. And they don't have any serrations on, on the mouth. Not really the mouth, but you know what I'm saying, the jaw. There's no serrations, it's just flat. It's got a cutter. And it looks like you could strip a little wire in there, too. They're pretty sweet. Little electrical pliers. And then this is my little collection of little channel lock pliers. Little, little gas. Little proto. This also came from XS Tool. Craftsman USA. Channel Lock USA and a Duro Chrome USA. Here's a Japanese locking plier. True Craft. Right here, oh, one more small plier, fan pliers, and a little cutter from Snap On right here flesh cutters. There's a part number for you. And then I got these big T-Rex pliers right here. Western Forge Craftsman 37775 USA. These are awesome. Friggin' sweet. Those got a big, big mouth on them. Big mouth faux show. And then we'll move on down. Just some basic Tecton hose pliers. Looks like a red, white, and blue snap on screwdriver that I got from Dave for a warranty deal. 
These are my SK cable cutters. Love these. These are nice and sharp. They get it. Faux show. Sure. Here, I'll even demonstrate them this time. See that? That's some odd gauge, you know? Yada. And the thing about this toolbox is it opens up all the way flush. See that? That's all the way flush. And I got some, some of these. Those are from Japan, IPS PH165. Some snap-on cutters. These are some SK needle nose. Here's some Craftsman cutters. Some Craftsman needle nose, six inch size. The other size before that, those were four inch sizes. Some snap on ignition pliers, aircraft. That's for when I gotta work on my airplane. Then here, we got these from Gear Wrench. You might have seen these in some fool's video or live stream not too long ago. I got them from Gear Wrench, made in the USA. 14 bucks a pair. I got two of them. Knipix, right here. Sweet pair of cable cutters. 7101200. You know what I'm saying? Gotta love it. I mean, US, not USA, but Germany. Here's some snape on. Here's some pistol grip pliers. These are awesome. Love them. Got them not too long ago. They're great for gripping in Poland. And here's some other snap on cutters, some heavy duty ones. Some 388 ACF. Dave sent those to me. Appreciate that, Dave. If it's not broke, fix it. USA Snap-on 96CF. <clears throat> These are the 8-inch needle nose. Probably my all-time favorite plier right here. Three-position slip, slip joint from Snap-on. Look at that grip. Those are solid. That's like a, you could cook a waffle in there if this thing's hot enough. These are awesome. Then got these from Dave also. He warranted out an older pair that I had. 91 ACP channel locks. Friggin' sweet. I like these. I haven't had any complaints with them. Then some more USA Western Forge Craftsman. 45104. And that's a six inch bent nose needle nose. And here's a Duckbill USA Craftsman, and that's a 45085. Next up is going to be an SK Western Forge product, and that's a 7207, and that's a thin nose slip joint plier. Bird beak design. Next up is a Nipex hose grip, pist not pistol, but needle nose plier set. 3891-200. Awesome set of mechanics pliers. Moving on is my snap-on battery pliers. You can see these from Wildies, uh, SK, all, all sorts of brands rebrand these. These are the 208CCP. From Snap On. Here's a Kimba. These are made in Japan. I got these for like 10 bucks. These are awesome and they're sharp too. These work great. Kimba is a brand I found on eBay. Some more K Pock. 74, 21, 200. 8 inch cutters. The 10 inch cutters. 
And then these are an awesome pair of pliers right here. These are some duckbill from Snap-on 61 CF. And I like these for soldering with. They hold the wires together great. So keeps keeps things together nice. Love them. From Snap-on. And then, just hold on a minute and I'll reposition you guys. All right. We're going to continue on to the middle of the of the big drawer. And so what we got over here is this is going to be the last set of pliers I'll show you up here. And this is going to be a uh, little pin, little spring clip plier set. There's various tips in there. And then right here, this is my big old Mac Daddy half inch ratchet. Love this thing. This thing's badass. It's a beast. And this is the locking flex head. Very nice button. Nothing to it. Still brand new. Here's another one that's brand new looking too. I haven't gotten too many opportunities to use it. This is my Snap-on FH LLF D80. And this is a big uh, 3H ratchet. I think it's uh, 17 inches long or 18 inches long. And this is one of my favorite ratchets in the arsenal. Yes, indeedy. And next to that one, it's going to be the FHX, I believe. Yes, this is an FHX 80. And that's just a lock and flex head, three drive ratchet. And I don't care what people say, this, there's nothing wrong with that button. It's fine. You buy a, rock, a locking flex head ratchet for the locking flex head. You don't buy it so you can just set it over here and just kind of use it sometimes. No. You, you use it for the locking flex head feature. Yes, indeed. Uh, moving on. This is a very rare ratchet. It's a Proto 5257. FL This is a flex head indexing ratchet Spins all the way around Various joints it's flexible And this thing's new old stock. You don't see them around at all. I was very lucky to get this in an auction. So yeah, very happy to have it. And then moving on, let me fix the camera since it kind of got crooked there. This is gonna be a T. H L L F uh, T H L L F. That's right. It's a soft hand quarter inch grip or soft handle quarter inch drive ratchet. It's very nice. This is an awesome ratchet for getting into tight places. And then I got this adapter. Right here, and it makes a slim drive 3H drive ratchet. Ain't that something? It's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, you know I'm seeing. And moving on, this is my newest ratchet. It's a FHD80. Oh, that's so quiet and good feeling. Heck yeah. Another hard handle. I really like the hard handles. I'm going to be eventually swapping these all out to hard handles, I believe. 
Next to that one is gonna be the good old fashioned THLX72. And this is a soft grip, locking flex head, quarter inch drive ratchet. I got that finger spinner on there for a three H drive. Makes it really sweet to use. Nice old hot rod of a ratchet. This one, you would think it's a quarter inch ratchet, right? Nope. This one is, uh, let me get this thing off without slapping the camera. This is good old fashioned three H drive head ratchet in a quarter inch body. Yes, indeedy. This is probably one of my go to ratchets. One of my main go to ratchets right here. Uh, it, it's like my main go to ratchet, just about because it's usually got the head that I need on it. And then, yeah, it's just quick to go back and forth between the two quarter inch drive and three eighths with it. This is a newer ratchet to me. This is a THNF72. This is a round head ratchet. Roto head, quarter inch drive. And I have another one of these. That's exactly the same as a bit finger spinner on it. Pretty cool, huh? These are some nifty old tools, wouldn't you say? Then next to that is a TN72. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, it's a TN72, just a round head quarter inch drive with the Williams spinner on it. I like my quarter inch ratchets. There, there go to. I need to start finishing off the three H drive and work on more half inch drives. This is from If It's Not Broke, Fix It, Mr. Dave. And this is a Cornwell ratchet. And I believe it's a hundred tooth, I was told. Very fine tooth. I like the handle, it's got a sweet handle. And I think Matco makes the same ratchet or has the same ratchet. Very sweet ratchet. All right, next to that, or up above is another finger spinner. Two in one screwdriver. SK, little Phillips, little flatty from Mr. Harnock's Forge. And here's the thing of adapters. I really like these gear wrench uh, locking extensions. They're very, very nice for the quarter inch drive. I like them a lot. I think Cornwell uses the same ones. And then Harbor Freight, I like their three inch drive locking extensions. They're actually decent. And I, I don't like Harbor Freight very much. And then I got another finger adapter that I use for a carburetor. Uh, here's a little, little keychain ratchet that I got from Gear Wrench. A little quarter inch drive. I like using this on hose clamps. And there's a couple odds and ends. Up above there is a Duralast set of extension not extensions but sockets and i believe before Duralast switched it out to uh china they had some really good stuff out of taiwan some very nice stuff but can't say that anymore you know that's a nice looking socket but now they're chinese so that's a bummer. Uh, above that, let's get the camera down. A little bit ratchet, right angle drive. This is another one. You could pick this set up from O'Reilly's for about 15 bucks. It's got a little bit thing in there. 
and this case uh, didn't last long. Yeah, this and this ratchet is really famous. I'll take see if I could get it out of here. Everybody knows this ratchet, right? And then it's got the little quarter inch bit adapter. You could put a thing in there and make an extension out of it. And then right here, I love these things. These are Craftsman low profile extractors. These are sweet, very nice tool to use. Next to, or below those, Sunex Mid Depth 12 point. Great socket. Haven't got to use it too many times. And this thing that I just hit, this is from Vim Tools. It's a USA made tool, and this is like a carburetor tool. Then right here, these are called wrench sockets. Absolutely amazing tool that needs to be produced again. I do have one metric set and one SAE set that I've never used. So if you're interested, let me know. They're spendy, but I'm not trying to get what people ask for on eBay for them. They're an excellent tool. I got videos on them. And then moving on, get this camera situated to my socket pile. All right, I just got this from Tarek. He gave that to me. That's a row of metric huskies, shallow. That's from the apex division of when they're producing husky. Another bit, another bit thing over here. And then start over in that corner. The sockets clear to the right. Those are my mid depth gear wrench 3H drive sockets that I love a lot. They're awesome. They're uh, probably my main go to socket next to the shallow ones right there. And they go from, what is it, six millimeter all the way up to 19 millimeter, no skips. Next to this is a gear wrench, half inch drive socket set. And it starts at 12 and goes up to, I believe, 24. And I get a few uses out of them. And then these, these are, uh, three millimeter, three inch drive socket. And then the other one is a four millimeter and then I got a five millimeter. So my three inch drive socket set starts at three millimeter. Ain't that something? I eventually wanna, I think it go, it could go all the way up to like 26 millimeters where they stop uh, three inch drive sockets. And so moving on, is my 12 points, 12 point three inch drive gear wrench, universal gear wrench socket set. This is a uh, 10 to 19 millimeter, no skips. And then this is a good set of old fashioned Harbor Freight impacts. They're actually legit, they do work. This is a new SK, new to me, SK spark plug socket. These right here are Vessel quarter inch drive impact adapter sockets. That's at 17 millimeter. This is a 19 millimeter and 21. And back here I got a right spinner extension. These are Harbor Freight star torques that I use for extracting Allens that have been stripped out. And those are Allens that I strip out to use the Harbor Freight torques. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
And then uh, these are genius. Quarter inch drive. This is a nice little set here. From Genius Tools, you can find them on Amazon. It's a Canadian tool company. And it goes from, what is that? Six millimeter up to 14 millimeter. And it's got like the same coating as with the Weira sockets. And it's pretty nice, pretty nice sockets. And I think I got them for like 30 bucks or something like that. And the, AC, the SAE set is really inexpensive as well, like 20 something possibly. These are old school USA Craftsman crow's feet on a snap-on rail. Doesn't have the part, oh, there's some numbers on it. Right there. Then those are my uh, quarter inch drive gear wrench bad boys. And that starts from Four millimeter goes to five millimeter, five and a half, six, all the way up to 15 millimeter. And then I got my Lyle tap sockets that you can see find on the Snap-on truck for like 80 bucks under the Blue Point name, or you could get them from Amazon for 25 bucks. You'll never break them. Uh, that's my top drawer. So yeah, we'll move on down to the, the bleh, we'll move on down to the other ones.